Welcome to the first of many scripting tutorials for Space Engineers. So let's get straight into it. Now, when you have a programmable block, you will see this here by default when you put it down. So you have three sections. You have the public programs. Now this runs at the very start of the game. So when I, whenever you load the game up, this section here runs whenever you save the game. And this below runs like sort of during game progress. So let's go straight into the um, setup. So if we will skip this one here for now, I'll show you that in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to show a basic script on how to print into this box here. Now, I don't know what the name of this box is, but I call it a debug info box. So what we're going to do is we're going to print out this here, which is Hello Universe. And to do that, we use a thing called Echo. So we think of Echo as in like to say, like to shout. And we're going to do Hello Universe. So what we're going to do is we check the code and it's OK. Click OK and then we click Run. And there it comes up there. Now, we can change that to whatever we want. So say, for example, we say Bye check code okay and run and there it comes up now that's good for doing debugs say for example you have a complex program and you want to see where things are failing it's good to put like echoes and stuff and then you can put things like variables in here and variables are put in with like say a b c d e f g and we can do a variable up here which is um string and then say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Should I just wrap it A, B, C? And then we do equals and we will say hello universe. And then what we do is put a semicolon at the end. And what we do is when we click check code, is okay, okay, run, hello universe. And that's done through a uh, variable. So strings, um, if you imagine there's different types, there's uh, characters which is char, integers which is int and then for like things like text uh, we have string and then that's declared and then we just take the name of the variable put it in here instead so very very easy so if you have a complex program you want to see where it's failing on you can do it through there now what happens if we want to display it on a screen so we'll say for example we can go to this here and we click here now, this is where things get a wee bit more complex. So you have to find the LCD. So in this case, it's called Tutorial LCD. And to see that, we use a thing called Build Vision. And we can see that the name of it is Tutorial LCD. So we go back in here. And what it's doing is, it's looking for the text panel with the name Tutorial LCD in it. Now, this weird thing I have in here, again, that's what you're going to be call in your text panel now that can be anything under the sun like it can even be tutorial lcd but what you're doing is you're assigning this you're telling the program that i my text panel i.e tutorial lcd is going to be a b c d e f g and then what we want to do is we want to write hello universe to the lcd and that is done by the name of the lcd up here a b c f g dot write text and then you put hello universe in there so we do check code Looks okay. Click OK and run. And there it comes up. Hello universe. And just to show that we can do other things as well, what we're gonna do is gonna put by in there. And check code. Always check your code as well. Bye. There we go. And that's how you do it there. So again, there is the name of the LCD has been declared. So it's kind of like, if you imagine like string, and then A, B, C, D, F, G, but instead of string you're using I, my text panel, you're telling the program what it's going to be, and then you're taking that dot write text, and you put by. Now there is loads of other sort of um, objects that you can put on the end of this here, but we'll go in that more depth in some of the later tutorials. This is more of a beginner's tutorial for writing. So that's that there. Now. You may be asking, how would I be able to, say, do what we did earlier on, have the variable and declare that up here. So let's add another line, and lucky enough I have already got this copied. So let me just copy this and paste. So we've got string, my text equals hello universe. And remember, 
we don't want to print by again, we want to print the name of the variable, and it's going to be my text. My text. Check code. Okay. And run. Hello universe. And that's pretty much it. And now, we can do further things. So say for example, we'll come back to this here. Um, say you want to run something when you save the game. Uh, I can't think of any use cases, but say you did want to run something. First of all, if you do is you have to put this here. So it's public void space. Open and close bracket and any curly braces here. Same thing as the last screens. What we're going to do is we're going to tell it to say game saved. Uh, the variable, which is going to be my text. Find the LCD and assign that to ABCDFG. And then tell it to write my text, which is going to be game saved. And you have to remember is you have to put this in it public void main even if there's not an edit you have to put it in anyway so we're going to do check code okay and now when we look over here and we press escape save game yes there we go see the base is game saved and we go over here and clear that run so let's just show that again stand back right click save yes there we go game saved so that's pretty much it for this here tutorial on writing to the screen and echoing out to the debug panel. Um, over the next sort of few videos we're going to be doing different things like the rotor, piston, thrusters and then some various other objects like doors etc. So thanks again for watching, I'll see you in the next tutorial.